And our next speaker has really made a project around it called the Six, wo six Word Memoir Project, where storytellers get just six words to create a story. And I actually have a favorite one of these, not from his site, but from Watchman's Alan Morrison. Time Machine. I just invented a... <laughs> and without further ado, here's Larry Smith. Project begins in 2006 when I launched the online storytelling community, Smith. Tagline, everyone has a story, what's yours? Our perspective would be that of the little guy, pecking around and making sense of the world, the chicken's eye view. These two lovely ladies embody the kind of project we love. They were video blogging an epic road trip across the country. Visions of, to meet all their online friends, visions of reality TV danced in my head. It would put us on the map, they bailed on day four. <laughs> we were stuck, and we had to come up with something in a hurry. We, 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 out, uh, we drummed up a half-baked idea we had floating around the office. It was based on the Hemingway legend. It was once challenged to write a whole novel in just six words. For sale, baby shoes, never worn. We asked our community to give the six-word novel a personal spin. What would your life be like in just six words? We called it the six-word memoir. The best one would win an iPod. This was 2006 after all. But to win that iPod, you had to follow us on this funny little thing called Twitter, which you just launched. The Twitter guys were pretty excited, and so were we. Their early adapters spread the word like wildfire. Thousands and thousands of memoirs poured in. We knew we had made it when upon, upon our server crashing and reboot, we were greeted with this gem from the kind of community member we started to love. The thing about Smith is that I started it because I really believe that ordinary people can tell extraordinary stories. It turned out when you gave them constraints, that those parameters fueled their imagination and forced them to be more creative. It totally worked. And when you have just six words to define your life, what means most to you, you really need to choose your words wisely. The themes emerged. One of the most popular ones was work. This guy runs Dogster. Unsurprisingly, another popular theme, probably the most popular theme, was sex, love, and an heartbreak. An inspired older reader told us in six words, hotel sex still rocks over 50. Something to look forward to. You know, it's no surprise that technology was a popular theme, and our relationship to it. Breakups on Facebook, my dad has more MySpace friends, Craigslist and how it changed my life, you get the picture. One day Google alert greeted me with a, a note that a pastor had challenged his flock to ask, what would Jesus do if he had to define his life in just six words? Priests and rabbis alike got into it. They asked their, their folks to define faith, the essence of it. Classrooms from kindergarten to grad schools use six word memoirs as a popular writing tool. Suicide prevention hotlines and speed dating places use six word memoirs as a form of therapy and a powerful way to break the ice. So, how do you go from a couple of tweets to a best selling book series and deals with honesty beverages for bottle caps and, and partnerships with Bottom of One Foundation? We did a couple of things right. For starters, we made it easy. A blank page is a scary thing, but when that page is filled with a six word story, it's not so scary. Plus, being published on the web and possibly in a book is a very addictive prospect. What's more, if you don't have a big marketing budget, hey, no big deal. Empower your community to become your greatest evangelist. We gave every contributor a book, buttons, postcards, and embeddable uh, badges for their blogs. And, you know what? We couldn't get to Springfield, Missouri. Beth Carter here asked us if, if we'd mind if she contacted her local bookstore. Yes, you can, Beth Carter. <laughs> we answered a million of her emails, gave her swag, and she sold 40 books. Now, I started Smith in a sense as an antidote to the pervasive celebrity culture. But let's face it, for any project, a little celebrity goes a long way. Diva Colbert gets just six words, like everybody else, but we got a lot of press. <laughs> Above all, I know this. The only thing that moves information faster than the internet is a Jewish mother. And my coordinator and I, Rachel, we had two. But the larger point is this. We all have networks and communities. Unleash them. They want you to succeed. They want to help.
At every stage in the Six Corp Memoir Project at Smith Magazine, I encountered roadblocks. No money, no time, no staff, no nothing. But these challenges forced me to move quicker, more flexible, and get more creative in a hurry. And in and of itself, those challenges are worthwhile. When you have a project you love, as so many of us in this room do, you want your project to grow, and you see its footprint everywhere. Enlighten us, but make it quick. I like where you're going with that at night. Thank you very much.